Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can blend together sounds easily in M Sound Factory. What we're going to use today is the Ratio Multi Module. Many of you may not be too familiar with this. They have the normal Ratio Module, and that's used to blend between two different sound sources, so you can smoothly, you know, uh, fade between them. But there's actually another one called Ratio Multi, and this allows you to blend between more than one sound source. So I'm going to show you some things you can do with that. So I have this set up here with a few different types of oscillators. I have them going into a mixer here, and they're going into this reverb. So I'll go through them one by one. I try to use different sounds here. I didn't try to blend these to make the most pleasant sounding mixes here. I did this to maybe sound the most different, so that way you can differentiate between them easily when I'm fading. If they sound you know, too much the same, it seems like I'm not doing much. So here we go. We have the first oscillator here, it's just a saw wave. Now let's go to the FM, like this. Now we're gonna go into the additive oscillator, it sounds like this. And lastly, we have the wavetable oscillator. So as you can hear, these are all fairly different. Now I can turn all of these on and I can have them play at the same time, but it's gonna sound like a mess. What we wanna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look for ratio multi. After we have this out, all we do is right click it and we choose input one, two, three, and four, and they'll all be routed into there. You'll notice here, it's still going out two, three, and four, and sometimes maybe you want that, but I generally don't. So what I'm gonna do is just steal the input from each of these. So now it's not going out of there. They're all going through input one, or out of output one, I should say. Now this is what we want. From here, if we adjust this ratio like this, You can hear it smoothly blends between all of them. Now we could do all six here if we wanted to, but I think you kind of get the idea. With this, there's quite a few things we could do that are interesting. Well, I'll go over the modes first here. You see this constant power mode, which is, I think is the smoothest one, but if you don't want that, there's other modes you can do, like linear or squared, etc. And all these will have slight dis differences. The constant power mode will allow it to remain at around the same volume, whereas the other modes, like maybe squared, will drop the volume as you go between those. So it kind of just depends on what you want. I find, you know, constant power is good 90% of the time for me. Other things you could do here is you can actually add effects between these if you wanted to. So let's say this oscillator, I wanted to put, uh, let's say, a frequency shifter on there. So if I have this here. I don't know if I'd necessarily want that sound, but you could do that. And you can do that with any other, you know, effects such as flangers, etc., which might sound a little bit more pleasant, but maybe aren't as noticeable as the frequency shifter. But I think the main thing here is we can use this ratio, and instead of me just moving it with my mouse, we can move it with lots of other things. Like, for example, we could use the modulation wheel. Actually, remember to turn the depth up. And that's nice, but you're probably thinking, yeah, that's okay. One of the great things about M Sound Factory is it's MPE compatible. So if you have an MPE controller, you can use the timbre or the pitch and aftertouch to actually control these polyphonically. So you could have, you know, some uh, of your fingers or some of the notes using the wavetable and another one using the FM, etc. And depending on how how well you can stretch your fingers or how hard you can press the keys for the velocity or uh, pressure. You can adjust that. Unfortunately, I don't have an MPE controller, so I can't really demonstrate you, but trust me, it works. The other kind of cool things you can do with this is if I wanted to make this really weird, I could do this like note random. 
So now each note I play is going to have a different position in the ratio. So it's going to be using a different oscillator like this. I should turn that down a little bit. It's getting a little bit loud, but you get the idea. And so each time I hit the notes, that time I was just playing a C major chord each time and it sounded <laughs> really weird. But you can do that or you can use a normal LFO here to just move between it really slowly like this. I probably want to turn this down. You might want a more pleasant blend than the oscillators I'm using, but you get the idea. And you can even use a random one. So now each note will be randomly moving between these, hopefully different speeds and in different places. And I believe that should do it. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with that. You see all the different modulation sources we can use here. One of the things you might notice, however, is if I use the, not the random, if I use the LFO here, like this, it's great, but every single time, it's always starting in the same place. I can change the uh, initial phase so it's random, so it'll start a random place here. And you might think, oh, that's good enough for me. And lots of times for me, it is. However, if you want it to be free running, instead of using this in ratio here in the generator section, we can use it in the FX section. So just take this off here. We have everything going into the mixer here, but let's just turn this off for a second. And you'll notice in here, we also have ratio multi. Just go into there. We'll do the exact same thing. Make sure we have all four inputs. Steal the input from all of them, so they're all going in there. And we have the exact same thing. One of the benefits of using the generator section is we can use all those MPE features and we can make each note uh, respond differently by using like the random things. I can't do that in here, but if we want a free running oscillator, we can do that. So we'll just go to mod one here. We can click clear and learn. Just move this all the way down, all the way up. Turn it off. We go in here. Make sure it's on. You can either click this here or click the enable button and you see it will move here. And you see, it's not being triggered by me hitting the notes. It just moves by itself. So if you want something like that, this is a better way to do it. And there's some other cool things you might want to do in this case. If you look here, you see this cyclic mode. Turn this off for a second. You're wondering, what does this do? So normally, when I go from the 0 to 100%, this will go from the input 1 all the way to input 4, like this. If I hit cyclic mode, it will go from one and then around like 90, it will be at four, but then at 100%, it'll go back to one, like this. You're wondering why would I want to do that? The reason is if I wanted it to seem like it cycles all the way around, I can do that. So instead of using a sine wave here, Let's say we use a saw wave. I'll switch it and invert it. And now once we do that, it will sound like it starts over instead of having a like a jump here. So it'll sound like this. So you don't have a discontinuity between those and it sounds nice.
So I think that's a really nice feature that you may not have realized was there. With this, you can do lots of things. I'm just kind of using this for maybe not such a great sounding example, but if you wanted to use this for something like an interesting pad or a lead that you could perhaps modulate with a timbre, there's a lots of interesting things you can do this, especially in combination with effects. You can get nice, smooth, interesting blends between them. So maybe in the future, I'll try to show you a good example that I use in a song or something. But if you want to learn about that, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or anything, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.